Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do the <coughs> campaign Delphin Swamp. And there you can see uh, the drops are all already as, as also with the Banshee Wetlands and in this new map you're starting to get the, the higher level um, Crystalloid. Um, so no more chances of the, the small uh, smaller level ones. Um, otherwise it's not so great. Um, I think it's just one to be passed but let's have a look inside. Maybe so there are some good uh, treasure chests or uh, or rewards, like that fifteen thousand dar or something. That would be great. So let's collect the materials. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Opening with the starting attack. <laughs> Today I was uh, also up upgrading uh, a lot my uh, academy. Um, up to now I was I have been focusing a lot on, on my attack and, and the gold production, and, uh, and so I became quite weak uh, when when fighting duels. Also my equipment is not so super. So um, for those who are also thinking like okay which which things to upgrade and which which to sacrifice. Um, there, I think uh, you have different choices, so, or you go for like the immediate gain, uh, you know, um, which which is like you want to be strong right now, uh, or you go for the long term reward. So I think like uh, that that's why I started investing in in gold production. I want to get my economy uh, up as fast as I can, because the higher uh, amount of gold I make. Uh, well, the more I can spend, um, gold is yeah, has influence on many areas. So, like uh, astros, I mean, if you, if you make more gold, you can get more um, better astros. And if you get if you get better astros, you get a lot stronger than than a small upgrade in the in the academy. Although everything has to be done, uh, anyways. So you do have to make a choice just initially, but over time you, you have to upgrade everything. Um, there's no room for, um, yeah. If you want to be strong, you gotta be good on all directions. We got a works la layer here in a very nice um, background area. It's almost it was always almost yeah. invisible if you're not looking for it. <laughs> So here um, we have any enemy reinforcements coming in waves. So we'll have wave two and wave three coming in. I hope they will be more in number because uh, mages are very good at uh, area damage. But no, three guys, I guess. So here we go with the area attack. So yeah, um, also in upgrading buildings, um, I also always prioritize the, the town hall, uh, the gold production, um, and the academy gold production. And now I make, I think, almost double um, the, um, the amount uh, compared to the gold mines. So I think it's more than quarter million per day of gold just being produced um, by the buildings, and that's uh, that's very good. Otherwise, of course, uh, your primary um, your primary elements like uh, attack for everybody, magic attack for a mage, and, and uh, physical attack for archer and and, and warrior. That's always the primary choice. For campaigns, uh, remember to, all, to go with a quest if you have. Uh, and if you are um, running short on time, there are actually several things you can do. Uh, one is to, to do the campaign on, on AFK mode. Uh, for those who don't know the AFK mode, I'll, I'll show you in a moment. So uh, let me find somebody to kill, like this guy. 
So the AFK mode, you see here there's a button AFK, uh, that means away from keyboard. So if you press that, uh, then he will start fighting for you. Uh, like, uh, let's see, Adam is going to do the special with me. <laughs> um, and he's going to fight for you, so then the only thing you need to do is just uh, click from one enemy to another. So let's say you, you're busy at home and you got to do a lot of stuff and you don't have time to play. No problem, just click to one monster and then go do your other stuff. Then when you hear the victory music, um, finishing, the victory music finishing, um, then you're like okay the thing is ready and and there's like I didn't find there to be a timer or anything like that so you you can also just like stand stand here and do nothing you know so you don't have to come to the computer at that exact moment um, the only exceptions to that is when you're claiming your reward at the end when you kill the boss then you need to claim it I think within 10 seconds or you lose it or something but yeah, in large you can you can do a campaign like that uh, in kind of a n away from the computer mode. Um, otherwise, you can always choose the blitz option. Uh, so when when you click on a campaign name, you always have two options: enter or blitz. And blitz is like uh, blitz is like okay, do do it for me automatically without even entering. So uh, you need to have like a minimum amount of stamina, like a hundred stamina, and, and then um, you can say blitz, and then he will tell you um, how many t how many times do you want to do it and so on, and you can spend your whole stamina if you want. Uh, and I know some people who basically uh, they don't have too much time to play. So let's say they they leave their computer on, um, and then what they do is like. They 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 enter the the um what's it called um, not the halls of heroes but um, the place where you can uh, get more stamina the the, the building in the center the altar or something and uh, then you can just leave your guy there and and uh, over two hours you will get another sixty uh, I will show you the building right after this campaign sorry for not remembering the name and you can get another uh, sixty. Um, stamina there so if you start with 100 and you have 60 from there uh, each campaign takes 20 uh, so that's eight runs and and what some people do is they just pick the highest campaign that they can see or do and they do blitz for the whole stamina just straight up and then you can't play for the whole duration um, so just to give you an idea uh, one blitz of four uh, four times uh, or four times 20 stamina uh, takes 20 minutes so if you want to do the whole um, the whole 160 stamina that's going to take 40 minutes and that means 40 minutes you can do nothing in the game it's gonna freeze it and it's gonna be like I'm in the blitz mode and you're gonna see like okay you're getting rewards you're getting items um, so yeah you can always do blitz um, and I found that very very helpful because um, it, uh, by the way it has the disadvantages like of course you don't get all the rewards so um, that you would if you would normally do it so like you will not get if there's a fifteen thousand dollar on the floor. He doesn't pick it up, but he does pick up um, any any items if if this monster guys uh, drop it, and he also picks up what most importantly is the the reward for doing the campaign, the final final reward, and that's really cool. And and you also get experience uh, for doing it. Looks like the server is lagging. I see the battle is not continuing. That's messed up. Oh, I got a victory because I can already see the text that I won, but the the graphics hasn't caught up yet. That's that's a little bit messed up. So I completed uh, a purple bounty quest. I'm really happy about that, actually. So so far in the campaign, as you see, the the monsters are pretty tough. Um, they were able to kill my griffins, but also granted, uh, I'm not really very active um, playing, not thinking what skills I'm using. I'm just spamming rain of fire. Mostly. 
let's do some uh, <coughs> damnation although my damnation is level one now <coughs> so coming back to the blitz um, you get uh, the experience um, you get items that monsters drop and you get the, the quest reward and so if you don't have the time that's a really fantastic option uh, for anybody uh, so I can only recommend it uh, and I use it myself also also here can be something really good 2000 gold come on 2000 gold for this level it is meaningless Of course, if you do have the time um, to do the to do the, to do the to do the campaign manually, then do so. You'll get more reward. Um, also, not all campaigns are equal. Um, like in my previous video, um, I, the campaign uh, that I showed, uh, there you always get a skeleton key from one. Uh, chest and you can immediately use it on the second chest so that's amazing because and you you get I think soul crystals uh, if not always then often um, then that's really great so even though you would get less experience doing uh, that campaign I think it's worth it aha uh -huh, seven and a half thousand daro so that's like the first positive thing I saw here and I didn't fail to notice that these greedy mobs, they didn't drop any treasure chest for me. The last run I made, almost every single one of them gave me treasure chests. So these guys are greedy and I don't like greedy monsters. But just because they look like humans doesn't mean that I have to keep everything they got money I need items come on give me one. so Daru is like my number one right now uh, because it's so expensive to upgrade the griffins the last one I paid I think 170,000 griffin um, griffins <laughs> 170,000 griffins 170 uh, what's that battle chests 5,000 gold are you kidding me um, I paid 170,000 I think Daru uh, just to get the Griffins to level 30 um, and well, that is 170 to get to 31 uh, I can't recall but it's, it's an enormous amount I mean given like you get like a I don't know a couple of thousand from the farm yeah it's not so much so thankfully there are quests which are giving it um, and you get it from many different sources which allows you to build up a lot but uh, yeah it's a huge amount and it's really important to have your guys as high level as possible recruits my poor griffins are dying by the way never recruit the maximum amount for the very simple reason that uh, let's see if this is the boss it looks like the boss I'm just gonna check if there's something. It doesn't look like it, but I'm greedy. I want something more. The reason why you want to have uh, your people as uh, high level as possible. Ah, crap. I thought there would be more of them. Uh, is because, especially because um, duels, okay, fine, but especially because you can do the catacombs a lot better. And the catacombs give very, very nice rewards. Um, and so, everything you can do to make that happen, to get those rewards, and uh, um, it's really worth it. Here's my special, it's gonna really destroy him. But it seems he's ah he had the thirty percent damage reduction. Okay, but there we have the victory, battle success. I got a rating C for talking too much. <laughs> Maybe um, let's do this one. Oh, luck stone. But there you have it. And as promised, 
the building name is altar of ennoblement so for those people who don't have much time you log in you click your constructions like um, now I'm building my warehouse constructions are doing something tech has finished up I take true ah, I'm, I'm, I ran out of can I this terrible uh, dual if you feel like check the bounty because that's the fastest way to get experience um, my cap energized three of ancients that's two seconds and then you go into the altar of new ennoblement you go to the statue and you get those 60 stamina and you see now I have 180 stamina that's because I also took a potion stamina potion and then if you don't have time you click campaign and then you click this blitz button when you click this blitz button he's gonna give you an option you see I can do nine blitzes for 45 minutes it's gonna take all my 180 stamina and I have to pay 45,000 gold but basically then I can leave the computer alone and come back to hopefully hopefully get lots and lots of reward so uh, hopefully this video was uh, very helpful for you and enjoyable uh, press like if you liked it um, subscribe check other videos I made enjoy your day thank you very much